What's up, family? I just want to say immense gratitude to all my Scorpios. What's good? To all of you Scorpios, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment. Hit that thumbs up, man, because I know you guys going to be vibing with me. Thank you to all the Scorpios that have been sending donations and getting personal reading with me. It has been a great honor and blessing, truly. <sighs> What's up, Scorpio? Immense gratitude to our ancestors and guys that are here with us. Yes, guys. So I drew a card from the uh, Sex Magic deck and I got Four of Wands. All right, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. Okay. Four of Wands. It might get spicy tonight. Sending good vibes wherever you are. Okay. Truly, 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 truly. I would like to take in three deep breaths to get open, more mindful, more receptive to this general message for our Scorpios. Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale when no longer serves you. Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale when no longer serves you. Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale when no longer serves you, but can serve the universe. Ah, oh, ancestors and guys, keep it playing. What's up, Scorpios? It's a vibe. I feel it. It's a vibe. Y'all in your four hundred ones energy, home foundation, backbone, stability, center. Okay, exploring your shadow self, your own sexual energy. Some of y'all. Getting real deep with your partner right now, or that is what you're more so open to, receptive of, because you have been doing that shadow work. If you've been doing that shadow work, then all you want is depth. Like, if there's no depth, then it ain't gonna make you move. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna drive you. Nobody just, nobody want to be a surface dweller no more. You know, we looking beyond the surface. We going into the book, in the pages of the book. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's about the whole book, not just the cover. <laughs> Ooh, we back at it again. We back at it again. The amazing sacral energy vibes. <laughs> okay, so we have make a vision board. All right, it's, it's back at it. So. As you know, it's really time to be focused on your visions, all right? We have create art, okay? Awesome. And then we have clear your energy field, okay? We got life path three here, life path one in the energy, okay? Life path seven, I'm hearing four. You be seeing three threes a lot. One 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 a lot. You can even see one zero one zero or zero zero zero. You could be a thirty three year old Scorpio watching this. You got a seventeen year old daughter or son, and a ten year old picking up on two kids. You could have a kid that's an artist. You could very much so be an artist. Okay, you've been drawing for like seventeen years. Or around 10 to 20 years, year range. Okay. All the Scorpios, I'm real for you getting your sage on or your, or your Palo Santos on or you're learning about that. You're learning about your healthy boundaries and protecting your energy. Right now, guys, you want to protect your energy moving forward within Libra, the Scorpio season. All right. Because you guys are transforming. You got a lot of haters. You got a lot of people watching you, stalking you. Some of you guys could also be watching your enemy. If your enemy's watching you, you're watching them. Okay, 
some of you guys, yes, um, you know, uh, you're moving forward, but you could very much still be keeping an eye on whoever hurt you, okay? Because they got an eye on you, okay? Get back to that, like that doppelganger energy. But make sure you pay attention to your visions. I'm really feeling a lot of sacral energy, a lot of creative energy for my Scorpios, and that's awesome. All right, so you guys are painters, okay? And that's that's awesome, man. You dope with the pen. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Y'all sending me your beautiful work, or let me follow me so I can see what work you guys have on your platforms. All right, I'm sure it's awesome. You got here, be still. Back to the four, life path fours. You have a four-year-old, you have a one-year-old, you have a 13-year-old. You have a abundance planning, mm -hmm. doing your money magic, putting out your manifestations, a lot of manifestation energy. I feel like, Scorpio, while people are going down, you're coming up, all right? The narcissist is going down, you're going up. <laughs> and then connecting with Earth, all right? Spending a lot of time doing that, especially that I have a, a international following. So I know, you know, over here, we're a little bit more in the fast pace for some of us. And then other of us are actually changing that lifestyle. And some of us are really taking more of that laid back, work smarter, not harder approach to life. You guys got, yeah, you can be, you've been doing your, your abundance affirmations. Okay, you could be sleeping, um, waking, I mean, in the morning, hearing affirmations and before, and while you're going to bed, you could be sleeping. And, and that's actually a good thing to do, guys. Um, recording yourself doing affirmations and then playing, having that on a loop and playing that. It's a good way to reprogram your brain and to, uh, you know, what we, our environment shapes us right so if that's part of that's part of your environment you're listening to all that you focus on your vision you're creating your art like you're clearing your energy all you can do is all you're doing is opening space for more magic to come in more of this type of four of four wands home energy this deep bond this deep connection some of you guys this is like i feel like this is your divine masculine and feminine within yourself you're being still Okay, this is really good. Doing your shadow work. Right now, for some of you women and men, you don't need to be in no relationship. You just need to be focused on your visions, your art, your creativity, your business, your foundation, your abundance planning, and getting you right, okay? For a lot of you guys, I feel like that is the that is the big focus, okay? All right, and then strangely enough, the dark side of me is looking at this like, you know, Y'all, some of you, some of you, you know, the ah, the roles reverse, uh, where you know, some of you guys, this could be this this could be your part that the ex partner, the person you put out of your life and what they're doing. If you're thinking about things like this at home, but I really hope not. But that hopefully that's just for a small few, okay? And vice versa, if this is a man having these 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 uh control episodes, I want to call it, you know, trying to um project or going to to realms you don't really want to go especially if you got deep emotions from a person man this is it's just really 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 intense that's really intense and then this is for the scorpios that are in their soulmate uh twin flame union where there's just a lot of uh love making see i make a love outside on the swing okay on your on your kid's swing <laughs> uh, or while y'all go camping or something Okay, just getting freaky or at the beach. All right, in the woods. All right, just having fun. I feel that. I feel that. That's home. <laughs> Those deep, passionate experiences. <laughs> uh, once again, guys, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Okay, make sure you guys are connected with Earth. This is the time more than ever. All right, we are Earth's children, Earth angels, okay? Some of you guys are tattoo artists. Awesome. Dope. Maybe one day you can do a tattoo for me. All right. Let's get our, let's get our group moving. <laughs> Where we're seeing and vision, 
seeing up, seeing each other, and making it happen. <laughs> Not just words, action, ancestors, guys. Keep it simple and playing for our Scorpios. Check out my Twin Flame channel, guys. Check out my music. Follow me on Instagram. Okay. If you like to send a donation, we'll get a personal reading. Everything is the content description below. Check out uh, the podcast that I was on yesterday with the Kane Experience. CCU joins the Kane Experience. Join the giveaway if you haven't. All right. End of the month. Uh, three lucky souls, three lucky spirits having a human experience will be able to have an experience with your boy KU. All right. So we got judgment here. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. All right. And then we have the High Priestess. Okay. Some of you guys are still making a judgment, or this could be a judgment that you've made in the past, which made you take a time of being still and had you switching directions, switching perspectives, and really focusing on you really looking having you looking at yourself and you know seeing if this is the what's if this is um if, what's the meaning of life had you looking deeper and if what you're doing is shoot if you continue to keep doing it okay i feel like some of you guys are supposed to get money it could be from a business could be from a marriage, could be from a, fa uh, a father, a mother, okay? Someone's creating delays, stopping this money, but I don't, I don't, I don't think there's going to be any more delays because you're trusting your intuition, okay? Someone's having f fears of change, but like... You've been clearing your energy, connecting with Earth. Like like I said, I said in the last reading, some, some of you guys are in like a whole other timeline versus where this person's at. Because if you're doing the work, you're moving forward. Meanwhile, someone is still stuck in their mind. All right. You could be dealing with a cancer. I'm hearing. But you, from you clearing your energy, connecting with, with, with Earth, um... You're going to definitely be in a high priestess energy where you're doing a lot of your shadow work and tapping into your different talents and gifts, okay? You're exploring that and having expansion with that, and this is why you're creating so much art. Because, Scorpio, you have to understand and understand what you have here um, and what happened was to get you on track. Okay, get you that much closer to Mother Earth and the beloved and yourself. All right, having you finally choosing yourself, creating your own home, having a backbone within a situation. All right. You know, you, most of you guys desire a real strong bond, and so you're going to have that. Okay, regardless if a person doesn't want you to have it, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> it's all in the energy. <laughs> Immense gratitude once again, guys, for all the donations that have you, you that have you, ah, that you have sent my way. Excuse me, it's late, and I don't know why get my words out and all the readings that I've done today with you guys as well and guys you got to realize too I have boundaries respect that okay respect that respect that respect that I'm not a person that you know if you want to get to know me you know don't try to bombard my energy and I'm very aware of all these things too just talk to me and treat me like a normal human being. You're a star just as much as me. So we have the star card here. Okay. We have the star card. Guys, de once again, definitely be protecting and clearing your energy because uh, some of these people, could they could be working magic against you or having people do that. So definitely be ma uh, mindful of that. We have the temperance card in reverse. 
Okay, and then we have the Queen of Wands. All right. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Sagittarius. Okay, Pisces, I'm hearing. Leo. You could be a rising star. You could be a dancer, a model, an art, a female rap artist, female singer. Okay, a makeup artist. Okay, a teacher, dancer. But yeah, there's no more be bringing balance to the situation. You're 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 just you're not about. You're just really not about it. You're independent. This person doesn't like that you're so independent. You know, and Scorpios is not really the type to go out there and like really be begging and, and, and you know, you, you rather figure it out on your own. And, but sometimes guys be mindful that it is good to ask for help. Okay. With the right people that are not gonna, you know, try to use the, anything ag that against you. All right. Okay. We, we didn't grow up by ourselves. Like we had to have someone take care of us for a while. So it is good to definitely, um, ask for help. Okay, there's no bringing balance to the situation because it was a third party. All right, I feel like there's a lot of women involved. They could it, it could even be in same sex relationship where, shoot, the the the, the female cheated or had a more more than one partner. Female, what's going on here? Okay, but you you you're trusting your intuition. All right, and so being that some of you guys are out of this energy, you just came out of this, yeah, just came out of this energy, you want to um, really clear your space, all right? Take a sweet and bitter bath. <laughs> Hit me up, I'm sweet and bitter bath, ladies and gents. And since this guys, keep it simple and plain. Once again, Scorpios, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment for me. What's going on for our Scorpios? What's the message for our Scorpios? Some of you guys don't need to be in a relationship. So you guys could do a lot of shadow the shadow work that's needed so that people and see that's why that's why we have some of these traumatic experiences is because it shows us what we got to do and what comes to the surface. And a lot of that has been happening. I'm sure COVID has been re of revealing a lot to you guys. I know it has been for me as well. Okay, we have the Emperor in reverse. We deal with Aries. Okay, mirror another Scorpio. Ten of Cups. Okay, and then we have uh, Six of... Six of Wands. Some of you guys want your independence. Some of you guys really need that independence. Because whatever work of art, products, or services that you're bringing to the world, like you're going to get a lot of acknowledgement and victory and success. Okay? You don't need you don't need a person anyway that is at, in a third party situation being very egotistical, very domineering, very controlling, toxic. All right, bad emperor, then bad emperor mode. All right, so you're stepping into the full energy and your new beginning. That's for sure. You get I'm hearing Aries rising, Aries moon. Okay, you made judgment on this Aries or this Aquarius energy. All right, or this fire or air energy. I mean, you're Empress or Emperor yourself, but you're not. You you you're a good leader. You're not one of the bad leaders that 
that lives for power and greed and control. And like, I feel like this person can't control their shadow side because you know, we all have light and dark, right? But this person can't control their shadow side, but yet you have, you know, or you are doing the work, okay? Where you have morals and boundaries of respect, do unto others that you would do to yourself, right? Treat on, only treat others how you treat yourself, right? I mean, you're gonna have your ten of cups. You're gonna, you know, you, I feel like you're you're moving forward towards wish fulfillment, and you can find wish fulfillment in trusting your intuition and in your independence, and knowing that you're gonna be all right, and knowing that this is gonna lead to better. It always does. You're gonna have that deep fulfilling connection. So what if it's not with that person? So what? Then it's better. If God take that person out of your life, it's for a good reason. It's for a good reason. So it's important to be clearing your energy, having your abundance planner, being still, making a vision. Haste makes waste. Create your art. All right? You don't want to go nowhere fast. So enjoy the process. Enjoy the experience. Realize it's all here to make you better. Okay? You got teaching and learning. Time out. And parenting. Shout out to my independent parents, okay? And you're you're feeling called to trust your intuition to be an independent per, a parent or you're soon to be a parent. Being up on life path five, six. You'll be a 57 year old Scorpio watching this or soon to be a 37. And the 63, stand in your power, stay in control, your solar plex energy. You'll be doing a lot of solar plex work right now. All right, communicate your truth. I feel like this timeout too is definitely um, making this person more fond of you. Okay, because remember, when you let something go, it comes back, right? And for some of you guys too, this time out, some of you guys might still want this person. I don't know. Y'all gotta let me know, Scorpio. Some of y'all might. Uh, some of y'all might. Some of y'all definitely might. But this time out has allowed you to gain emotional fulfillment within yourself as well. Okay, you're open to change. I feel like that's just that other person's energy. And that's another reason why sometimes I be I be sticking with with uh, these or these um these angel cards and stuff because it's just like I be hating getting into their energy. I just want to read from my Scorpios. Okay, this person could be a teacher. I'm here, or he could work with kids or adults. With problems. Let's see if I got anything else here before I wrap this up, guys. I feel like as parents, you're gonna teach you. You're teaching your children how to trust their intuition too, and you know, uh, a lot of this inner work that you're doing, you're gonna as a parent, you will be able to teach your children for sure and how to be independent. Okay, yeah, and you want to definitely pass down 
the history to them because the greatest teacher for your children should be you, honestly. And this way too, before they know any but this world's history, they know their family history. And, you know, you live on through them, you know, and, you know, I, I, another reason why I, I'm pretty wise myself is because I've listened to my elders growing up, you know, my great grandparents and stuff and stuff. And uh, they've taught me a lot that I'm still using to this day. You know what I'm saying? So it is real good to pass down this information, this knowledge, this awareness, especially a how to see the narcissist and how to trust your intuition, which a lot of you men and women are really learning. So I'm proud of you guys. Okay. Sorry for the little bit of low energy because it's late, but I wanted to pump out a reading. Okay. Thank you for always showing me love. Thank you for all the donations and personal readings. All right. I'm going to get some rest. Y'all get some rest too. Okay, sending love. Chokere, chokere, chokere. <sighs> good vibes, good vibes. Tomorrow will be my new issue for my virtual magazine. So I'm wrapping that up as well. I've got some work to do. Uh, so check out the latest issue if you haven't. But tomorrow will be a new one. Check out my music if you haven't. Uh, follow my um, twin page. Okay, follow me on Instagram. If you'd like to send a donation. Or get a personal reading. That's all in the content description below. Join my giveaway. And I got my other services down there too. If you would like Reiki sent. I do. Uh, I think it's 15 minute and 30 minute or 45 minute. It's all in the description below. So once again, love. Peace. Namaste. See you guys in the next video. Take it. No, I can't fake this. You know I can't fake this.